The Akai MIDI Mix is a hugely popular MIDI controller, giving you 9 channels of knob, button and fader controls. It's compact and lightweight, making it one of the best choices for making music with Ableton Live when you're on the go or have limited space. But while the MIDI Mix provides convenience at a super low price, it's not without its issues. Firstly, there's the volume faders. Moving them to the top of their range moves the track volume in Ableton to plus 6 dB. Being able to limit this to 0 dB would make it much more usable. Although you can bank left and right through groups of 8 tracks, there's no way to visually see where you are, which can lead to mistakenly tweaking parameters on the wrong track. Then there's the lack of control over essential parts of your Ableton Live session, such as clip launching, scene navigation, and device parameter control. As a production or performance tool, the MIDI mix is halfway there, but it's missing some of those vital pieces. Introducing Mixify. Mixify is a premium Ableton Live MIDI remote script, designed not only to fix the MIDI mixer's long-standing issues, but also adding totally new features which have been missing from this excellent MIDI controller. Add Mixify to Ableton Live, and your Akai MIDI mix will have volume faders automatically limited to 0 dB, ensuring consistent sound levels, a visual red box which you can move around your entire project so you can see the tracks and scenes you're controlling, no more guesswork, launch and record clips, control loop position, loop length, and grid quantization. Control the first eight parameters of the selected device and navigate through all of the devices in the selected chain. Mixify's functionality instantly maps in all of your Ableton projects as soon as you load them up. There's no remapping needed with each new project. The Mixify script gives you a wealth of essential controls set over two dedicated modes, Mixer mode and Clip and Device mode. Mixer mode improves on the original MIDI mix functionality. All volume faders are limited to 0 dB. This means that you can perform quick volume transitions and then effortlessly reset to 0 dB. And this is the same for the master volume fader as well. The new red box gives you visual highlighting of the tracks, return tracks and scenes which you're controlling. As with the original MIDI mix script, you can bank left and right through groups of 8 tracks. You still have access to the first two sends, panning and mute of each track within the red box. The second row of buttons now give you control over solo in this mode. And then pressing the solo button switches the MIDI mix into clip and device mode. This is a completely new mode, which gives you control over your clips, scenes, loops, and device parameters. Use the bank left and right buttons to move the red box up and down through all of the scenes in your session. The first row of buttons give you clip control. If a clip slot contains a clip, the button will light up. Pressing one of these buttons will launch the clip. To record a new clip, arm the track using the bottom row of buttons, then press an empty clip slot button. Recording will begin and the button's LED will immediately light up, indicating that a clip now exists. When you've finished recording, press the button again, recording will end and the clip will now begin looping. Each channel on the MIDI mix gives you dedicated loop and grid control over the clip on the corresponding track. The top two knobs on the channel control the loop position and loop length of the selected clip. When you turn any of these knobs, the detail view will automatically switch to the clip which you're controlling. As each channel has its own dedicated loop controls, you have the ability to quickly edit loops on multiple tracks within your session. If you turn looping off for a clip, the top two knobs will control the start and end markers. 
The bottom knob on each channel controls the clip's quantization grid. The loop knobs use this grid setting for positioning and size adjusting. So setting the grid to a smaller amount, such as a quarter or sixteenth, will give you more fine-grained looping controls, whereas setting it to a larger amount allows for more broad movements. With the eight faders, you have control over the first eight parameters on the selected device. And when you move a fader, the detail view will automatically switch to the device view, so you can instantly see your changes without needing extra clicks with the mouse. The ninth fader gives you the ability to change the selected device. As you move the fader, it will navigate through all of the devices in the currently selected device chain. As you do this, the selected device automatically expands and all other devices collapse. Another great way to quickly see which device you have selected. And finally, pressing the solo button will put you back into mixer mode. So why spend out more on an expensive MIDI controller? Mixify gives you top tier functionality for your Akai MIDI mix at a fraction of the price. Get Mixify now and start making the most of your Akai MIDI Mix controller today.